What have you got planned for us for the weekend? Um, well, it's got well. football tomorrow morning, yeah. but my, my dad takes him. Ready for this, yeah? I'll take it, yeah, let's Sorry. have a look. Oh, he's trying to be nice. Five kids, she's got her hands full. For a start, um, with my three, that'd be eight. We'd probably need a mini bus or a coach to <laughs> transport all these kids around everywhere. What's in there, mints? Yeah, of course. Mate, so I've got a nice smelling breath for you, yeah? Yeah, just for me. I'm going to kiss him after as well. Yeah, whatever. Ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> so, guys, is it card, cash? Uh, do you want to do this? So, is it going halves, yeah? Is that all right? Is that all right? Is that, is that bad, is it? I don't know. No? Come on, no. It's fine. Yeah? 35 cash here. Then that's 45, that leaves you to pay 44 39. Put 20 in my card, mate, and then let her have some change back. <laughs> yeah. You got enough? Of course I have. Yeah. She's prepared. Of course. There we go. Just in case I went on a cheap date. Yeah. I basically want to make products because okay. I couldn't find anything that was made for trans women. Okay. Yeah. Which is me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad I got that out of the way. I, di I didn't even notice. Thank God. I didn't even realise. Which is not a problem to me anyway. So. My old name was Daniel Zack. I was telling people my name was Crystal for a while, which is really <laughs> a great name. My new name is Danielle, so it's not very bloody inventive, is it? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Have you dated trans people before? You are the first. It's not, a, it's not an issue to me. My mother always says this to me, is that I was never camp, I was feminine. I wasn't an effeminate gay man, I was a woman. My mum's so supportive, she's like, she's a bigger advocate for everything than I am, she's great. How long have you been on this journey? Since I was 17, yeah. And you knew beforehand, or...? I feel like I was the last person to know, like... Okay. I've never really let it be who I am. So I guess she's a part of it. Would my life have been easier had it have been, it's a girl? Yeah, it would have been a lot easier, but I was just allowed to be really expressive of who I am. Like, I was never put in a box. I danced on a box, and it was never put in a box. So how long have you been single? Maybe three years. OK. My last boyfriend. Oh, wow, you like, dated a guy? Yeah. So you're, like, completely bisexual? I'm technically, I class myself as pansexual. Right, what is the difference between bisexual and pansexual? Okay, so it basically doesn't matter what you've got between your legs. If I get on with you and we have a connection, then Do it's fine. Do you think that the terms like pansexual and bisexual are often are just a sign of promiscuity? People call me greedy. Yeah. Not oh, greedy. No, what do you think about that? Why, why should I not be able to embrace everything, everything that's, that's about? Makes no sense at all. I mean, that's quite a big thing. I mean, it says me, it's like, hi, trans. That's quite a big thing, isn't it? Wow. How many sisters do you have? I've got a twin sister and I've got uh, an older brother. So you've got quite a big family, then? Oh, yeah. What about yourself? You've got quite a big family. Uh, no, it's not me and my brother. Although um, he's older than me, he's only older than me by a week. So. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That's good. How's that happening? <laughs> 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 I was just trying to do the maths. I was like, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, I'm adopted, basically. Oh, right. Yeah, right, so, yeah, that's how it works. Right, We're yeah. both adopted. So, yeah. So, I was born in India, and then because my mum was 22 when she had me, so, um... I was born with a cleft lip and cleft palate. She couldn't look after me, she was quite poor and stuff like that. So um, she had to put me in an orphanage. I grew up thinking my biological mother rejected me, so I think that kind of 
stemmed all the way up to high school feeling ugly and then going into adulthood like oh will anyone like me in that way or will they just reject me i was looked after by mother teresa oh i had to mother teresa yeah in her orphanage oh, yeah that's crazy <laughs> It didn't really hit me until I went back to India when I was 18 and see where the, like the orphanage and when the taxi stopped outside I just knew it was this is it and I just felt that wave of your back and I didn't feel like I ever left. I sat down with one of the nuns and she just looks at me and says, Welcome home. Is he all right? Yeah, he's lovely. Yeah? Oh, he's a hug now. <laughs> no, she wants one from you now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, damn, I should have got another drink. Uh, I mean, you can have half of this if you want. No, it's all right. I'm going to deprive you, you know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> my, my problem or anything, I need to keep me, keep me level pegging. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Are you all right? Um, are you OK? I am fine. Thank are you? you? I am absolutely fine. I used to go for the bad, the bad guy. What oh, the one from the ends? <laughs> the real one? Yes! That is not me. <laughs> I'm legit. <laughs> Your mum will probably love me. <laughs> I don't know if she'd like your confidence. Why? A bit cocky. You think? <laughs> Depends what day of the week it is. I don't think I am confident. Why? Right, like, have you heard of keloid scars? Keloid. No. You probably can see my face, and you know, I'm like, my scar in. So I've got too much collagen in my body. And like, say if you cut yourself, yeah. you'll heal normally, right. I'll over scar. Okay. And it'll get bigger and bigger and won't stop growing. So like there. I got them when I was 13. You have to get surgery to remove them or just deal with the growth. And then this one, that's like a mess. When I was younger growing up, it was difficult because a lot of people used to say hurtful things. Somebody, Stroke my face and point at it. Oh, hey, that's disgusting. I do get paranoid about it and I do wear certain things to cover my scars. I, I won't wear a low top. Like I've got on my chest. And the itch, the itch and the burn quite a lot as well. So like, I'm always like this. I always feel like a dog. I feel like my dog itching. It has stopped me from doing things in life and meeting people, but I don't want people to know that I get upset about it. <laughs> like, I could never speak about it before. Like, I used to get, like, very upset and, like, hurtful comments and people telling me to, like, kill myself. And Whoa. I know. Really? Very dramatic, I know. Saying I've got a skin condition, you've got it, go kill yourself, you're ugly, this, this, this. I always feel like if I talk to someone, I've got to tell them that I've got scars first, just so that they'll accept. I've got to a point where I'm just like, it is me, it's part of me, and if you don't like it, I'm not saying you, but yeah, anyway, yeah, no, no, if no, you yeah, don't like it, me. then yeah, yeah. that's your business. Hey, I love shapes, I love patterns. <laughs> to me, that's another shape, that's another pattern. <laughs> oh. That's nice. If you can't change it, just rock it. Mm. So, are you happy? Yeah. Okay. You've been good. Have I cheated you right? You've been amazing. Good luck here. Big head swell. I've got a big head, so it's okay. You always get one of them, don't you? Them confident black men. Do you know what? It's taking its time. It never used to be, but now I am. What changed? What changed? The weight. So when I was younger, I was just like a little chubby kid. It's like I filled this chair. No, you didn't. 100%. So there's me <laughs> in the middle. It's not a good look. It's really, really obese. I can't imagine you being ugly. He wasn't pretty, no. If I was bigger when I was like 30. Was bigger and being massive was two different things. Because of the weight thing, sometimes I give off this overconfidence, but I'm not actually that overconfident. There's still a little part of me who feels like that little chubby kid. Like that, I don't think that will ever go away. Cheeks hurt. Why are you be smiling too much? <laughs> I've been laughing too That's much. That's good. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> That's good. I'm oh, sorry. I can't even turn it off. He's really nice. He's such a laugh. Um, but he reminds me of Elliot. 
Same glasses, same facial hair. It's just, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, that must be a long wait for you. So what's this say here? That says, for my brother who keeps me sane and tells me everything will be okay, Elliot John Reed. Nice. My brother, yeah. Reed. Elliot John Reed, yeah. Is that your last name? That is my last name, yeah. R E I D. R E I D. Is that your last name? Yeah. Fuck off. That is fucking crazy. You my cousin? No, I, I, I can hope not. So guys, the wine That's is crazy. just coming. Thank you. We're not, we're not related. Really you have the same last name? No. Yeah. You're kidding. Where are you both from? Oh, yeah, actually, let's go down to the roads. Yeah, so my family, like, Jamaica. Okay, where about in Jamaica are your family from? Like, Kingston. Shit. Um, um, well, you know, it could, it could could lead to a family party. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what you want from this. <laughs> What's your dad's name? Derek. Oh, then we're not related. Kind of scary that it's to uh, Kingston, Jamaica, though. Yeah, that is scary, but we're not. And I'm going to maintain that we're not. For the until, we until we do a DNA test. Until we do a DNA test, because that is super scary if we are. I hope we're not. I don't think we are. I'm gonna have to speak to my dad. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. What is it, the bill? Oh, it's the <laughs> Her eyes were like really piercing, really beautiful eyes. Yeah, she's hot. Yeah, I hope she thinks the same. What have you got planned for us today? I don't know. What's the time? What's That's the time for my set, time? yeah. to see each other again. Who's going to go first? Should I do it the same time? Oh, God, shall we? Mm. Let me get a door for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> see you later. See ya. Oh, cheers, mate, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no. For me, it's a no. Yeah, cool. Um, I think you're lovely, and I've said that. Yeah. You've, we've got so much in common, but it just fell flat for me on, like, the spark basis. Okay, cool. Here comes a cab now. That is pride. The ego's been knocked. No. Your beard is so like my brother's beard. Ah, and yeah, we've got it. And you've got the same it. glasses as my brother as well. We've cracked it. We've cracked it. We've both home. You too, darling. Good to meet you. Thank Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely. It's weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm my brother. <laughs> Got any kids? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I'd like to. Yeah. I've got to the age where I'm thinking it's not going to happen, type of thing. You sort of think, am I getting too old now? I think it's more of a maybe the time thing. Yeah. But I think I'd be a great father. Oh. I'd adopt if I had to. If I was with somebody and, and they couldn't have children, you know, it'd be, it'd be an option. Good for you. So, children? <clears throat> Never married? Um, I was married when I was younger. Okay. Uh, divorced at 26. And I've got a baby on the way now. I don't know I'm six months pregnant now. Okay. It's a donor baby. So I've got no crazy ex hanging around street corners, fighting for custody or nothing like that. So. So, yeah, good for you, good for you. Whatever's going to be here, then I'll embrace it all, because I embrace life generally anyway. It speaks a lot about you for doing it anyway. Oh, thank you. No, it does. Yeah, thanks. Have you got a name? So, I like Jackson James for a boy, and I like Remy for a girl. Remy? Yeah. I've heard that off the film. What film? It'd be wrong to say now. <laughs> no, go on, I'm, I'm interested now. <laughs> Ratatouille. The cartoon, and I've not seen it. The rat Remy is Remy. It. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's a rat. <laughs> <laughs>
That's what I do when I say. <laughs> I come from like nothing, like like me and my mother we struggled when we were younger. She was basically homeless and like and I had nothing, we had nothing like me and my mum went through a hard time. We had, we had no money. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, we lost the house, so we went into a refuge. I remember going there and I think to myself, there's like a room, one room, two beds. And when I started boxing, my mum was just giving me the last bit of money she had left, do you know what I mean? So she, she, would, she would go without. My mum even sold her jewellery for me. We would sneak up to Mark and Spencer's getting like a... Do you know, they, they, they put the foods out. Well, we've got to be expired in like five or six days. We were just bagging that up, taking it home, and living off that thing. Do you know what? We've actually come a long way. My mum's first, no matter what, yeah. Anything she needs, I'm always there. And that's why I think my mindset's so strong because I've been there, and, and that's my that's my why. And, and people go, Jordan, why? Why are you not coming out tonight? Why are you in the gym? Why are you training? Because that's my why. I need to make it so she can enjoy it. I do a lot of work with like um, people who kind of suffer with like, bad home life. I go to schools and that. Do a lot of talks. To oh, so you go, you go to schools? Yeah, do talks, go around, do all stuff for charities. What were you saying to the kids? Or well, just say to them like, if you if you work hard and have a vision. Yeah, I'm looking now. And from, from that to being like coming to Olympic team and like I've got a long long way to go, but like if you just stick to it, your life can change, man. Do you know what I mean? If I can do it, why can't they? Do you know what I mean? Being able to say that I'm a member of Team GB, it's a great thing. It helps a lot of the younger generation from my area because they think this kid has come from this is nothing to, to you know, to being on, to, to, to like have an opportunity to be in the next Olympics. So I mean, so uh, it gives people hope um, and it keeps them positive. I was really nervous, but then as soon as I started talking to you, I don't know, you just put me at ease. Yeah. Do you feel alright? Do you feel comfortable? Yeah. yeah good. I don't you're like a very like, like warm character. It's not a joke. You're you're really beautiful, right? You're proper beautiful. But like, oh, I, I didn't think they'd find someone like that. That <laughs> was the food. It was lovely, thank you. So I was wondering how you'd do uh, in a li in a little sparring session with him. I'd be the referee. I don't know. I think she might do me, you know. I think I would. I'd have would. him. I'd have a little spar. Come on, come on. Yes. I'd be the referee. Are oh, you fine, Joe? What was your jab? One, two. Oh, what are you gonna do next? Always oh, got it. Jesus Christ! Let me see you, Jab. Oh. One, two. One, two left. Two. We can do a kick. Add a kick to it. Add a kick. Oh, good reflex. She looked very positive, good aura about her, and uh, no, she's a lovely girl, mate. Um, she looked lovely. Can't really fault her.